Just when we thought this whole Megan Thee Stallion and Nicki Minaj beef couldn't get any messier, Nicki Minaj just dragged Beyonce into it and went off on her for betraying her and taking Megan's side. She even went as far as to call Beyonce an idiot and claiming Megan is her guinea pig. Now this ain't the first time Nicki has made it a point to throw some shade at Beyonce, but this time she took it a little too far and people are calling her out on it. The crazy thing is, Beyonce and Nicki were once very close, but their friendship started to go downhill as a result of Nicki's behavior and countless feuds with everybody in the industry. In fact, Beyonce and Jay-Z publicly took Nicki's side during her beef with Cardi B, but they've distanced themselves since because they've caught on to her BS and don't want anything to do with her no more. Now, as most of y'all already know, Nicki has been going in on Megan for about a week now after Megan dissed her and her whole family and her new song, Hiss. Not only did Megan call Nicki a goofy, delusional woman, but also threw some major shade at Nicki's deadbeat husband, Kenneth Petty, and her very creepy brother. She said, these girls don't be mad at Megan, these girls mad at Megan's law. I don't really know what the problem is, but I guarantee y'all don't want me to start. B, you a P, never finna check me. Every chance you get, bet your weak self won't address me. B, where they G, but the G must stand for Goofy. This was a very nasty read from Megan, and she pretty much had everybody rallying behind her. Celebrities like Erica Badu, Ruby Rose, and even Kris Jenner, who Megan actually name dropped at the beginning of the song. This sent Nicki into a spiral, and she started tweeting a whole bunch of things about Megan and liking very shady posts about Megan's foot. She even released a whole diss track against Megan, but it failed to gag people the way Megan's did. She said, how you F your mother man when she die? How you go on Gail King and can't cry? Chow, bye. Bigfoot, but you still a small fry. Swearing on your dead mother when you lie. Kylie kicked you out and made you stumble to the car. Now, it would have been good if Nikki were to leave it at this and not push it no farther with this whole feud, but you know she did. She just had to jump on Twitter and continue to talk crazy. But what really really got people's attention was when they realized that most of her Twitter rants were actually directed towards Rock Nation and not Megan alone. Now, for those of y'all who didn't know, Rock Nation is an entertainment management company owned by Jay-Z. Nicki has been claiming for some time now that Jay-Z, Desiree, and Beyonce have been pretty much trying to replace her with Megan Thee Stallion. And that's why they've been putting so much money behind Megan to push her to the top so she can be the new Nicki. Rock nation bunch got you feeling like you could talk about my family and i have a three-year-old innocent child have had my home swatted twice with with drawn they magically no one no one seemed to find the the person she also put up a couple tweets where she name dropped Jay-Z and the whole Rock Nation. She said, on the song, I delve into all the people Desiree allegedly fired for unknown reasons. Other things as well. So many people were blindsided and hurt by her. Allegedly, she's willing to go broke to try to replace me. Fix it, Jesus. Hashtag Goodfoot. She also replied to a post Rock Nation put up about Hiss and said, spending so much money but she's the little broke independent artist. Desiree, baby, you gotta let it go. The world knows she's ASS and can't rap. Stop effing trying to make Fetch happen. Hashtag Bigfoot. I just put out a song with no promo, no video. It's already two. So as y'all can see, Nikki was clearly speaking in circles as she always does and couldn't find herself to get to the point. People also realized that even before this whole feud with Megan, she had mentioned Jay-Z and Rock Nation were trying to sabotage her. A few months ago when she went off on Elliot Wilson for coming for her after she appeared in a live stream with Kai Sinet to promote Pink Friday 2. She said, Elliot, if you'd spit Jay-Z's D out for one second, you'd be able to be happy for the newcomers. Isn't that how y'all try to tarnish my image? By saying I'm not welcoming new girls in? Did songs with all of them though. Why you not happy for a young black man like Kai? To Tomorrow, B. You know how many tweets I've seen you post disrespecting me, Idiot Wilson? 
all of y'all, for some reason, when y'all are around certain people, y'all feel that y'all have this power. Why? When y'all have an affiliation to Jay-Z in some sort of way, y'all be thinking that y'all can disrespect and violate. Now, once people started piecing everything together, they realized this was the reason that Nicki and Beyonce fell out. I mean, Beyonce does send Nicki flowers occasionally, like the time she and Jay sent her flowers to congratulate her on the birth of her child, and the time they sent her flowers to congratulate her on winning the Michael Jackson Vanguard Award. But they haven't really been as close as they used to, and people believe Beyonce only sent her these things so people wouldn't catch on to the tension between them. And allegedly, Beyonce started distancing herself because of Nicki's deadbeat husband, Kenneth Petty. Because we all know, Beyonce tries to stay away from negativity as much as possible. The rumors really started around 2020, when both Beyonce and Megan released Savage, and Nicki and Doja released Say So on the same day. Now, it was clear Nicki was trolling Beyonce for Jay-Z cheating on her. She rapped, why you talking about who body fake, with all them fillers in your face. You just full of hate, that real ASS, and keep your man home. Now you looking silly, that's word to silicone. A lot of people felt like this was a direct response to Beyonce's verse in the Savage remix, where she said, if you wanna see some real A, baby, here's your chance. Can't argue with these lazy I just raised my price. But Nicki didn't leave it there because she came at Beyonce again when she released her song Press Play. And this time, she explicitly mentioned Beyonce and even called her an idiot. She clapped back at all the people who always asked her why she don't like Beyonce. She said that unlike Beyonce, she had to fight for everything she has because her parents were not business owners. She then went on to seemingly call both Beyonce and Jay-Z idiots for trying to use Megan to replace her, and also called Megan a guinea pig for allowing Beyonce and Jay to use her as a pawn. She rapped, they said, why you can't Beyonce? Daddy wasn't no businessman, mama wasn't no business owner. Mm, what an idiot. You can't be me, I'm already it. I have been saucy, they all want a skinny dip. I'm your label's obsession, use another guinea pig. The crazy thing is about Nicki going out of her way to diss Beyonce is that Beyonce has done nothing but show her support since day one. They've made two successful songs together and Beyonce even brought her up on stage to perform a couple times and during her beef with Cardi, Beyonce put up a photo of Nicki's mugshot on stage to show support for Nicki after Cardi tried to attack her during fashion week. She also put the photo on her website and even gave Nicki a shout out in her Break My Soul Queens remix. But as usual, Nicki ain't never satisfied with nothing and she always thinks somebody's trying to destroy her. Now, even though Beyonce is yet to publicly show support to either Nicki or Megan, sources claim she's 100% team Megan and hopes she's continuing to pay Nicki dust and doesn't allow the BS to get her. Now, as usual, people had a whole lot to say about this. Like this person who said, Nicki Minaj is the common denominator with all these beefs and negativity within the female rap community. That cannot be ignored. I was a fan of hers and her talent cannot be denied but she's got questionable values and just comes across as a salty old rapper she's going out sad at this point but now i want to know your thoughts what do y'all think about beyonce ditching nikki and siding with megan the stallion and do y'all think her feud with megan is gonna be her downfall y'all been knew what to do let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and don't forget to click here to watch this other very messy video.